teacher can manually add multiple students at once or can add students individually. Additionally, you can have students roster themselves to your class using the class code. Let's choose a class to roster. You can either do this by choosing the Manage Class icon of the individual class or going to the Manage Class icon down here to see all of the classes. I'll go ahead and choose the individual class. From here, you'll see the Add Multiple Students button or the Individual Add Student button. Let's start with adding multiple students at once. From here, I need to select how I want to add my students using Google or Office 365 usernames which are just their emails. The first name and last name option and the last name and first name option are available to you depending on the district or school settings. These create generic accounts and are only advised if the students do not have emails as the single sign-on won't require them to remember another username and password. I'll go ahead and choose Google usernames and then I'll copy and paste from a Google Sheet or a CSV file and yes add to class. Now it says that my students have been added to the class and I'll go ahead and click done. If a student enters my classroom halfway through the year, I can choose to add that student via the multiple students button or I could just add them individually here. Adding a student individually requires me to put in their email or username, their name, a password, and then confirm the password. Once you're done with that, you'll just click yes add student. If a student is no longer in your class, you can click the box to the left of the student, Actions, and then Remove the Students. From this Actions button, you'll also see Reset Password, which is available for students not using single sign-on. This does not reset their Google or Office 365 information. Additionally, you can edit students where you have the ability to configure additional demographic data like their SIS ID, student number, free and reduced lunch, IEP plan, and more. Once you're done with that, scroll to the bottom and make sure you update that account.